Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be covering basic materials in UE4. Now, Unreal is not like other game engines. You don't have a default shader or you don't have default materials that you can work with. You have to construct them to begin with. The way that we make a material is by going into your content browser, right clicking, and then going up to material. And then from here, we'll give it a name. And then once you've named it, we'll open it up. Once you open it up, if you see that the default material in here is checkered, it probably means that it's loading. The material editor is similar to a lot of the other windows. So we have our normal menu bar at the top, and then we have a toolbar, and on the left hand side, we have details. Windows that we won't go over in this video are parameters, stats, and the palette. As we go through more tutorials, we'll go into more information on the details panel. But for now, we want to make sure that under material, our material domain is set the surface, blend mode is opaque, and the shading model is default lit. Just leave this all standard. Now before we connect any nodes, I want to cover some of the basic nodes that you'll be using often. The way that we access nodes are through hotkeys or by right clicking. And the first ones we want to take a look at are constants. So we have a constant 1, we have a constant 2, constant 3, and constant 4. And then we also have a texture sampler. You can access each one of these on your keyboard by holding down 1 and clicking, holding down 2 and clicking, holding down 3, holding down 4, and then for the texture sampler, you just hold down T and click. Each of these data types can be used for math, grayscale, or color. Now some of the standard math functions you use are add, subtract, multiply, divide, and power. Not all of these are hotkeyed, but if you hold down A, you get add, if you hold down M, you get multiply, and if you hold down D, you get divide. All right, let's make a basic material. So for the base color, we can really put in any constant, but I'm gonna put it in a constant three, so that we can get color. For metallic, it only accepts grayscale, zero to one, metallic or not metallic. So we'll use a constant one, and then for roughness, it's the same. Is it rough or isn't it rough? And then for emissive, we can use a constant three. And then we'll hit save. So looking at metallic again, zero is not metallic and one is metallic. And then looking at roughness, zero is very smooth and one is not smooth at all. Another way you can think of this is that zero is black and one is white. All right guys, this covers basic materials in Unreal 4. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks guys.